We don't know whose bullet killed him, ours or the militants. If he was hit by a pistol bullet, then it was definitely the militants. If he was hit by the AK-47 bullets, then he was killed by our gunfire. It is under investigation. Everything will be clear once the post-mortem report is released. Let's bring in David Sedney, who is in New York. He's a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Central Asia. David, good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So is it fair to say that India has been heavy-handed in this situation? It's very fair to say India has been heavy-handed. And after the 2019 occupation or revocation of the law and then occupation by Indian troops, the Indians uh, engaged in almost an unparalleled crackdown, essentially forcing everyone in Kashmir to stay inside uh, for many, many months. Um, the cycle of repression followed by reaction is something that we see everywhere in the world. Uh, the Indian approach was successful in the short term in that it put down the levels of violence that were occurring in 2019. But the heavy handedness of that has led to greater re uh, response uh, and now an increasing revolt by those who were crushed uh, in 2019 and 2020. Right. This kind of uh, cycle is almost inevitable. And it's surprising that the Indians have been so short sighted. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you do see parallels in this approach elsewhere in the world, certainly. Um, but why the timing? Mm -hmm. Why has India not seen that its moves have potentially just increased anger and militancy in Kashmir? Well, that's because the Indian Prime Minister, Prime Minister Modi's overall objective of increasing the nationalist content of Indian society uh, and of making India more a Hindu state than a secular state uh, is so tied up in many of the issues that involve Kashmir that I think he felt he had no choice but to try and send a hard message in Kashmir, essentially to all the other groups in, Af in uh, Pakistan, uh, sorry, in India that also would like to have greater rights and are not um, willing to subject themselves to Hindu domination. Where are we in any efforts to sort this out or at least move towards some sort of solution? Unfortunately, I believe we're further away now than we were in 2019. There was a period about 10 years ago when it seemed as if India was prepared to listen to the people of Kashmir. And it's important to remember this is not just a Hindu-Muslim uh, confrontation. Uh, there are a number of other ethnic groups in Kashmir. Uh, many Kashmiris actually went complete independence, not uh, union with Pakistan, nor union with India. They want to be an independent state. Uh, this kind of um, long-running um, uh, unhappiness over domination by an outside power, we've seen in many other places in the world. And unfortunately, I think because of India's heavy-handedness over the last couple of years, we are further away rather than closer to a resolution. Got it. All right, David, always great to have your insights. Thank you. Thank you.